Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, now this it's on. This is Mary Jane today on Nancy today, teaching you how to make a pom pom because I am making a pom pom rug for my dear sweet granddaughter. So I asked my granddaughter. I said, "What are your favorite colors, Emma?" She said, "Well, purple and green, and black and white and blue." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> so I have <coughs> colors of all those, <coughs> and. I'm making her a pom-pom rug from all those colors. So you have to get yourself two um, cylindrical items. They should containers. be the same containers. They should be the same size. These are not, but they're just what I had. I tried using toilet paper rolls. Pin, would, work, would that work? Oh, no, it has to be two. Yeah, there's two of them. It has to, you have, they're supposed to be the same size, but I just adjust it, and I'll show you that how I do it. So anyways, you want to wrap it. So I'm going to wrap it 140 times, and we'll come back. So stop it. No, I'm okay. Let, I, we can talk in the One, meantime. One, two. Three, we'll talk among ourselves. Four, Let's five, see if we can mix up Mary Jane. Seven, now, don't get nervous, five, Mary Jane. Seven, 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 Stay five, on track. Five, what is five, the number five, you're at now? Let's see if we can. Look at her count. She can really go high. 31, We are at Grandma's Cottage. Would you like to see the sign that says Grandma's Cottage? It's on the side of the... There it is, over there. See if I can make it big for you. See? Grandma's Cottage. Because nobody else would have it. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say it. And I'm grateful for my little trailer. It has come here to live out its last days. There's grass growing between the wall and the floor. Just saying. Okay, 140. So, look at so that. Here we go. She's ready. And then you take another little bit of the same yarn, about that long, and you slide it up. You slide it up. Hold on. Okay, now she's going to slide it up. That slide it up between your two cylindrical items. I think I'm going to get doweling so they're the same size, and I'll explain to you why. So then you bring it up. Now, what you want to do is you want to tie it, but you don't just tie it once. You do it twice because then when you do that, it will not slide out. And then you take out your cylindrical containers. And because they're not equal, because they're not equal in size, you must adjust your wraparound string so that it's halfway between the two. And you pull it tightly. Wait, it's not perfect. This is a little bit smaller. Well, we'll fix no, that in wait, a second. It's bigger. We'll fix it then in a I second. I guess it's okay. No, it's not okay. We'll fix it in a second. So then you're going to wrap it round, and this time you only have to pull your yarn through once, and then you're going to wrap it around again to the other side. Could you see? <laughs> but this time you're going to do the double wrap through your thing so it doesn't slip on you. Pull it tight. Tie it again and do the double wrap. And there. Now you have to hold those two separately so that you don't cut them off when you cut your strings. So now to make it even, you're going to look at it and see how well it's positioned in the center. That's fairly well positioned. And if not, you can just adjust it by pulling the string up a little bit. And then you're going to do the same on this side. Now, you could use a tape measure. You know, maybe. Oh, I'm not going to use a tape measure. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that would be too tedious. Okay, so so now you're going to take your nice sharp scissors and pull your loops taut so that you're cutting at the top of the loop. And make sure you cut them all. Sometimes there's a couple in the middle here that don't get cut. One here. And then flip it over, making sure you've still got those strings, because those are what you're going to, what you're going to tie it to the rug mat with. 
pull them nice and tall. Cut all those. Okay. So now, this is very important. I didn't realize how important this was before. But you want to lay, lay your pom-pom as flat as possible. And I previously made these two circular discs, uh, discs or Wheels. patterns. One with a hole, which you're going to thread those strings through so it's nice and flat. And then you're going to lay it flat again on the top. And you're going to place your other one and then you just cut around the sides. Now, if you had been using bottles that were smaller, you might not have so much to throw away. Yes, that's true. You're still going to have stuff to throw away, though. And I always trim it a little bit closer on the top. That's going to be the top of the pom-pom. Because for some reason, if you don't do that, it just stands out. And then it you have to trim it. Around. So I'm just trimming around here. I have a garbage can here to put all my trim in. And a mosquito bit my back. Oh no, let's find them. Can you, can you? Yeah, it's hard, 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 down a little bit. Yeah, right there. Yeah, perfect, thank you. So we're just going around using your discs. This is where we can sing songs like the wheels on the bus go round and round. Or, is there another song that's about round things? Is there a mosquito on my elbow? Nope. Okay. So we're just going to keep trimming. And I use both top and bottom of the disc to make it nice and even. Sometimes it's like a rug, actually. It's kind of cool. It's making a carpet. There's always one area that's not as thick for some reason, but I don't know why. Oh. I got bitten on my elbow too. Okay, my, time to get my skin so soft out. So here I am trimming the top part, like I mentioned before. You've been using skin so soft since I lived on the farm. Really? Yeah. You've been using it forever. I remember selling Avon back then. You did sell Avon? Yeah, that's, it was a good excuse to meet all the neighbors in the farm farm area. So yeah. I got to know who people were anyway. But so it was now, not really a great way to meet people because you were trying to sell them something. and Yeah. So you, it was a negative reaction immediately. Yeah. yeah. Hey, wait, wait, you've shifted the bottom. Oh, okay. So try not to shift the bottom. <laughs> okay, so now you just take a second to scratch all your mosquito bites. So now... <clears throat> You take your disc off and you shake it. But as you can see, it is not perfect yet. So what you have to do is you have to turn it on its side and pull it out so that the flat part is on the side of the pom-pom. And you just meander your yarn into what is now the new center and fold it until it is tucked in and well, then make this nice your hole. now because the holes in a different spot mm -hmm. and then you have to flatten the other side as well before you put it back on so this is important as the flattening part i think it is flat as possible then when you put it on you see oh it still needs to be trimmed wow interesting so, you take your scissors, and once again, you trim it up. Mm -hmm. And you, you sometimes have to go like this, because you'll have little pieces that, won't, that will be bent over from when they were a loop. And you must stand them up so that the 
don't have to trim them later. So that side is nice and trimmed up. And we're just going to turn it around here. Keep going. Keep snipping. And here's my thinner area. And you can always check this way. Let's see if you've got bits sticking out. few bits here. It's interesting when you do this because you get more little bits. I thought you got them all. Now have you moved it? Well I mean it's not perfect. You're not you're gonna move it a little bit. It's just, like your discs I mean. Yeah you're gonna move them a little bit. They're gonna get moved because nobody's perfect but that's good. I like to do it from the opposite end as well and then you take your disc off and you find your string and it's in an awkward position and you just look at that that's not a bad one i've seen a couple better but you see how there's one or two little bits sticking out but somehow they didn't get i should probably show you this way And then you give it a good shake and it's a pretty good pom-pom. If you're making a small pom-pom, you don't have to wrap it 140 times. But these are pretty big pom-poms and they're going to be a, a rug. So I want them to be nice for her bum to sit on. And if she used them to kneel on for praying, that would work too. So there we have it. The perfect pom-pom. And then you can just get an embroidery needle and thread it through your rug mat. And I don't have my mat here. I'm just making pom-poms at Nancy's. So maybe what I'll have to do is somehow video it and send it over to Nancy because the mat is turning out gorgeous. It already... Well, no, what we would do is you would send me the photo and I could use it for the picture that goes on the video. Yeah. So this is not a pretty good pom-pom for... Just a little bit of work. Yes. So there we have it. Pom pom making. Now I need that scratcher. The back scratcher. You have to say goodbye. Okay, bye. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Watching.